weekend is here in Allison. Uh, the weather just not cooperating. No. Is there any hopes of clear skies and warmer temperatures? Yes. Just nowhere in sight. Yes, no, we do have hopes of clear skies and warmer temperatures. I mean, later, 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 later yes. Unfortunately, not until. Not in time for Saturday. Not in time for Saturday, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> not. But the good news is is that we did not see nearly as much rain as the models were crawling for. So we didn't have to deal with any flooding issues in our area. So that was good news, but we are still looking at the chance of showers for the rest of the night tonight. So let's get right into it. Our hazard camera is showing us some very gray and dreary east conditions out there. And that's what we saw for pretty much most of the day, the day for most of the region. We saw lots of cloudy skies and off and on showers, and we're continuing to see that satellite and radar shows. We were just decked with clouds out there and just some showers just continuing to filter in from the southeast. And that's what we're going to expect to see for the next couple of hours, but then we are going to start to see the rain starting to clear out just a little bit. So we do have some green on our radar right now. So we are looking at that uh, the showers continuing for the next few hours, but then things will start to clear up. Now we do have a flash flood watch in effect for Lee and Wise County in Virginia until about eight o'clock tonight. So only for the next couple of minutes is that going to stay in effect in our area and throughout the rest of the uh, night tonight we are going to start to see things starting to clear up and then temperatures are going to stay on the chilly side as well. We're looking at temperatures in the lower 50s and upper 50s in some parts of the area. So we are seeing some warmer temperatures hanging around, but for the most part, everyone is going to stay on the chilly side for the rest of the night tonight. And we're continuing to see this moisture just filtering in from this low pressure system that's off towards the southeast. And while that system is there, we are going to see our rain chances. But like I've said, we are going to start to see the rain chances decreasing throughout the rest of the night tonight as well. And Hurricane Joaquin is still off towards uh, off in the Atlantic and it's still pushing off towards the northeast. So some good news there. It is going to continue to weaken as it does so. So it is not expected to make landfall in the United States. So that is some good news there. And as it continues to push off, our rain chances are going to start to decrease. Now tomorrow we are looking at much warmer temperatures. 60s are making a comeback tomorrow and even possibly the lower 70s from some areas. If we do get any breaks in the clouds, that's the area that I expect to start to see some sunshine moving through the area. And over in the Cumberland Valley, or over in the Kentucky River Valley, rather similar situation hanging on to warmer temperatures for our forecast. And we do have a very slight chance of rain in the forecast for tomorrow. But like I said, it is very, very slight. Just some possible showers in the morning for the most part. And then I think things are going to start to clear up and the rain chances are pretty much going to be very minimal throughout the rest of the day tomorrow and the clouds, they will stick around, but some folks could start to see a break in the clouds. So some good news there. We could even see some sunshine starting as soon as tomorrow. Monday is going to be a clear day as well. No rain in the forecast for your Monday and the clouds are going to stick around for a little bit, but we will start to see the sunshine making a comeback even more so on Monday. Now throughout the next couple of days, the rain totals have really started to decrease just over near Monticello and uh, Pulaski County there. That's where we're expecting to see any more additional rainfall within the next couple of hours. Now, as far as that seven day forecast goes, where your weekend is always in view, well, things are going to really start to shape up by midweek. Like I said, we are going to start to see the sunshine making a comeback and warmer temperatures are going to make a comeback as well. Mid to upper 70s for most folks throughout majority of the week. Plenty of sunshine Monday and uh, um, Tuesday and Wednesday rather, and then Thursday, some clouds do start to return and we do have a cold front returning to the forecast by Friday. Some nicer weather headed our way. Just got to yes. be patient for it. Yes, just have to be patient. <laughs> All right, Allison, thanks. We'll straight ahead in Sports Union and Lindsay Wilson battling it out in our game of the week. We'll take you out to Barberville for our first quarter highlights.